Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Alex Showcase. We are still on conversations and today we'll be talking of cheating. What is cheating and what's not? My name is Axie Baby. And I'm Victor here today, giving the hot takes as usual. <laughs> <laughs> what is cheating to you? For me, I think that if I'm sitting next to you and you're smiling at your phone and it's not from me, that's cheating. <laughs> you need to relax. First of all, I feel like you women, you're always reaching with these things. You're always reaching. I can be smiling at my phone with a friend of mine just just about the last um, football game, but somehow you guys conclude. And once you start making those, you know, assumptions, there's someone pushing us to that direction. So we might as well just, you know, go oh, there. Oh, you don't have a mind of your own. <laughs> there's no need for this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, that's what you're telling me. No, though. okay, I hear, where, I hear where you're coming from, but the whole um, him being focused on it. But like, the man has to, I mean, he has to be his own self, you know, he has to have his own told me about his own time and whatnot. He can't be zeroed in on you 24 7 as you want. So I let him breathe and whatnot. I mean, I'm, I'm not with it. Yeah, but I hear you. I hear you, Duan. I feel like this cheating thing is more to do with you as a as a person. You know the line. Yeah. So even if you are trying to be all smart and everything, when you start you yourself being shady with yourself, people say that okay, that thing that you've done, can you actually come out and say to your partner, this is what I did. Once you can't say no matter how flimsy you think it is, ah, it's nice. once you have a check in your this, ah, this thing I did, I can't tell my partner of no matter this thing, then you already know that some shady business is going on there. That's how I may mean, I see it. Um, but then I, I think that some people, you know, have the opinion that, you know, until like you actually go into the bedroom <laughs> with some other person that's not your partner and then you're actually involved in the in the act, that 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 means that that's cheating to them because about other people they think that even kissing is nothing you know they think that you kissing another person you text sorry one <laughs> question that i would like to ask for men when you get home at night <laughs> okay. and then you're home already and then you've parked your car and then you sit down in the car for like 20 30 minutes on your phone because what's happening on your phone uh, have you never heard of unplugging like you are I mean, full day of work, you've had like you're exhausted, mm -hmm. you've got so you go into the house. You're already hearing from the car park. You've already started began to hear the rock course of people. Hey, I don't want daddy, boy, you need your me time for like a few. What do you think we're doing? Actually? You're deleting messages oh from my Smuke. Good. <laughs> deleting <laughs> Shaliwa's pictures. What's yes, that? I nobody, because no, yes. Nobody's cheating with anybody named Shaliwa. <laughs> I mean, why not? No. Really? Because I don't know. I think that. Really? I know. I understand your point. I'm going to no, I think that, you know, relationships these days, people just, I mean, you just think that, um, um, you know, getting a lab dance in a strip club, that's, <laughs> is, that, is it cheating to you? Going to a strip club, first of all, can we even start with actually thinking of going to a strip club? You know, when I'm in a strip club, I actually, I don't know, I personally do not like the experience because I'm thinking as, as, that as what if, what stripper? if, where do you go to no, of trip? course not. <laughs> I mean, of course, to see the strippers. Okay. You know, so I'm thinking that it, it, it to me, being in a strip club is like another level of sin. You know, I know that we all sin, we sin, but then I'm saying that, I mean, everybody's naked around you. And then it's like, I'm in Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, what if the trumpet blows right now? And then I'm in the midst of naked women. I mean, what am I going to tell God? What am I going to say? So I think that, but then I see a lot of men. So I, I want to hear your views on that. What do you think? So I, not to sound so, I don't know, academic, but the, when someone says cheating, the idea of it is that you are cheating on someone. So cheating on his own is not a generic word. There's no like one size fit or there's no one generic term for cheating. So it is like you're cheating on someone. So that already says that you're cheating on someone based on the relationship you have. So I think it's individual for each relationship. So it depends on the kind of relationship you have with your... Some people, their partners don't mind. Hey, you go to the strip club. Hey, you have a good time there. So far you come back home and, I mean, you don't bring... You don't slip out and bring STDs to me or you don't have your women coming to your maternal bed. All is well and good. They find the conversation. And some people, they are so... I mean, they keep so concentrated they keep everything holy and bang bang any small text is so i think it depends on where you and your partner are but let's even leave that aside in generic socially acceptable this thing going to the strip club should count as cheating because, it should, because, right? because <laughs> let's leave what the gisha said it should count as cheating but then why do you think so because 
I mean, um, at first I was just joking, but then really, I mean, it's just for fun, really. Yeah. So I'm just going to see girls dancing, and then you don't go to see girls dancing. If you want to see girls dancing, you go to the club, like the regular clubs, not the strip club. So, so how is? I mean, I'm not. I'm not. It's not like he's going to sleep with any of the girls. So why? Why should I be cheating? That, that, there's a sort of sexual gratification that you get from being in the strip club. You have to like make mention sure to that. It might not be cheating okay. in terms of eyes. Like having sex and as it might not be the same like gravitas as but it is still something so like so what you're saying is that masturbating is cheating that's what that's what i'm getting from <sighs> you okay so that's different that's oh, really what, what well, I'm of gratification aren't we so i mean okay. school me <laughs> i feel like if the person is someone you can see someone you can sleep with or whatever if it's someone you can actually like you're in a strip club with someone that you can actually pick up from there and take home right I don't say against the laws, but like for masturbation, maybe it's just an idea or based on like an experience you had before and whatnot. So I feel like it just depends. Can this thing be tangible? Maybe it's not something that is tangible. I don't think anyone can hold the thing. But going to the strip club, actually seeing the strippers dancing on you, this is actually a woman pleasuring because they are dancing on you. Okay, so what if what if he brings his partner? How about that? <laughs> and they are dancing on you both. Yeah, that's something yeah. like, that I mean, because you know, for for most men, if they if they're going to a strip club with their partners, they do not allow the girls to actually dance on them. The girls come to dance on the woman. The woman doesn't allow the wife. The, or the men. Girl. No, I'm, I'm saying that. Okay, I, I go to the strip club with my boyfriend. My boyfriend calls the girls to come dance on me and not on him. So the girls dance on him and I mean, sorry, the girls dance on me and then not on him. So he gives me money, I spray on them. Yeah, that's how it works. And then you guys just have fun and go home. And that's, yeah, that's perfect, because two of you are in on it. And that's okay. even another conversation. In on it. Because <laughs> they are like open relationships now where people are. So I, I think you both of you have to know where you are. Okay, this is what we're doing, we're just vibing, no? so no, 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 I mean, no, me going to strip up with you and then having the girls dance on me and all that, that doesn't mean, we're not vibing, because we're in a stress relationship, <laughs> don't call me vibes, please, <laughs> we're not vibing. Okay. Ha. <sighs> this is getting me confused. Can we, can we? I always say that men do not know what they want, and okay. this has just proved it, because one hand, he's talking about... Um, vibing, going to strip club is being tangible. I don't understand. I, I won't go to the strip club, so this is not a direct. This is not for me directly. I'm trying to speak. But you're for speaking my, for your for colleagues, men, for I, your brothers. I, I, I can speak for some, but they say a lot of them are scum. So I don't know if you I can speak for. But I don't. I feel like at, at the base of it, I just feel if your partner is in on it, then all well and good. If your partner in is on it, so that means I can tell my partner that yo, um, I've got some guy that I like, and um, what I want to. Go to bed with him. Why are you so like... if my partner is okay with it, so he's not cheating, is that what you're saying? So he's fine with it. If you for, for some for some weird ass reason, whatever the other relationship, uh, your partner is game with it, then yeah. so that's not cheating. So it's just an extracurricular activity. Exactly. You are yes. <laughs> we are finally in that sync. We, that we have <laughs> that's just another tweak in our relationship. It's another kink that we have. I don't think it's cheating. But let the honest truth is. A lot of research in Nigeria, like maybe say seventy percent. This is not based on any research or whatever. Are not, I mean, are not shaped that way. They are mostly monogamous relationships. Both of them enter into it, telling each other we're going to be faithful to each other, and then all of a sudden is um, hidden text, deleted text, and whatnot. My my question with cheating is always and has always been where do they find for my main male folks? Where do they find the range for it? So you have a whole wife at home or girlfriend at home, and then you have like five ten. Like is the Financial expense on it is the emotional. I mean, they can afford it. Okay, you can afford it financially, but I mean, the calculations, the I feel like it's a whole lot of that's going on. Why not just you know that? I don't know. Like, you know, men are very sneaky, <laughs> 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 they are very sneaky. I don't even know. Sometimes, you know, thinking about it, I mean. So sometimes people are saying, "Oh, when you catch your partner cheating, or oh, um, you should attack attack the person <laughs> that your partner is cheating with." I don't know what why. What you do if you, ca- if you call your partner cheating? You walked in like you walked in on them, man on woman, or woman on man, whatever. However, oh, they, I don't you... know what I would do. What, what would I, mean, be in, that's what... I think that probably what I would do is I'll just um, I'll just I'll just keep quiet. I'll just leave them. Do you understand? Like I won't do anything because actually I've had this. Um, um, what's it called? I have a, I've had this experience where um, my my boyfriend at that time, his second girlfriend came, mm. and then you know, so when after everything, oh the whole oh I can't be so she was one screaming because I mean I was just because I was in the house and then she came in, 
So I was just looking, and then the way she was screaming, "Oh, I have finally, fa um, I finally, um, what's it called? Um, I finally know what 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 you have been doing, and then my my thoughts have have, have finally been, you know, I've been like, so so you're cheating on me with that kind of thing, and then I was just looking at them. So when he got her to leave and everything, and then he was asking me, he's like. So I mean, yeah. why are you not? Yeah. Why are you seated? Why are you not screaming? Why are you not breaking my TV? Why are you not breaking my head? Come and hold my neck. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> because why? there's an expectation. I should come and hold your neck. I should come and break the TV. Why? But but actually, I'm not that kind of person, let's so. uh, let's also talk about this. Seems to have been a, 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 a planned attack on men. They are terribly crafty women cheaters and they hide it under all sorts of guys they hide it under is my father in the lord is my brother in the faith there's this one that pisses me off to no end he says my work husband is that work husband <laughs> <laughs> all of what all of what you see that let the home husband saying, let's all have a conference let's i want to <laughs> the men also have these things when the man is telling you that he has a best friend what are we going to say about that but then you know Women that have work husband. I have a work husband. Of course you do. <laughs> I'm very sure you do. But then I mean, really, it's just work. It's just um, you know, it's just it's just a joke. Do you understand? We're just saying I have a oh, question, please. This is your work husband. Do your communication end by five PM when work ends? Yeah, of course actually. We don't even chat. Do you understand? Huh? We don't even chat, um we don't speak if if you see our conversation, it's only work. Do you understand? And then besides, we don't even speak at night. Do you get? So it's just in the office. Who I say, ah, please, oh, don't touch Adela. Oh. She's my work. She's my she's my wife. Oh, that kind of thing. Do you understand? So it's just some sort of um, protector at work. You know. So that's that's work husband for uh, so, ladies. So and if, I know it's different for men. If you find yourself, <laughs> yeah. If you find yourself having like a crush for this guy, also, can you like other people while in a relationship? And is that cheating? Have you ever caught yourself? Because obviously you hang out with some people and you definitely find some people attractive because people people they find really for this Lagos Nigeria ah, really, I know people can I find don't know. can I mean, you realize I, I <laughs> <to the> clubs <laughs> so so you, I, you can guy. find someone really attractive and so is that like is that on some level cheating or is it okay is it fine to find someone attractive and put them away and just continue with your life so I think that um, so if you find someone attractive someone that you know, you I like closely like this your work husband for finding him attractive I mean so that um, that's different. So in that case, we have to. I have to draw boundaries, Jonathan. So if yeah, I start to yeah, find him, yeah, the boundaries. The boundaries are drawing back. <laughs> no, 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 I have to create boundaries. You know, I know that. Okay, so this is getting out of hand. So I need to move away from him because you know, I mean, anything can happen. And then I do not like to put myself in uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. So I think you know, the best thing to do really in such situations is just to you know, to cut ties. Question number two: Sexting is that cheating? Sexual chatting. Well, <laughs> well, I think that I don't know. Um, I think that women actually can control themselves more than men. Wait, what is this basic? So, what is this basic? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to be all feminist, yeah, you know, on, yeah. and all that. Chief but then I'm just saying that women can actually control themselves more than men. And then I always say that communication is key. Do you understand? So me sexting another person. I mean, I know that you know women flex. But then, rarely do they take it to the next level. As I see how wide open my eyes are. <laughs> so, are you not trying to play out or play away the fact that sexting or flirting is, is like is a given, is okay? No, no, no. It's not, I'm not saying that it's okay. It's not okay. But then I, I think that, you know, there's a way um, you women can draw boundaries. But then I do not think the same about men. Men will always go after that interest that they have. Once they have an interest, they would like to pursue it to the end. But for women, sometimes they can just cut off halfway. But the problem always comes from the men. My, no, my, see, I see. <laughs> we'll come out to your attack on men. My problem is the fact that I even got halfway. Moving from point zero to halfway is already a problem. So I personally, I feel like the same level of outrage I feel if I caught my my girlfriend or wife or whatever in bed with a man is not far away from the same outrage I feel if I read the text. Or I saw a chain of texts that has run for like a year ago where they were flirty. But then what if nothing has actually ever happened between them and then it's just talk? So, That's what so I'm cheating saying. Does, yeah, so cheating doesn't have to be. Cheating isn't just physical. Sometimes it's breaking the... Like, is that emotional re um, relationship only you and your partner should have? You know there's some level that only you and your partner should relate on. And you see him available to some other woman on that kind of level. She's going through whatever she's going through. By 8 a.m. she's texting him, he's replying back. Why? So it's not, it's not like those boundaries, they're not just physical, they're not just a don't 
rub his thighs, do hug him some type of way. Sometimes it's emotional. Why are you so available to this babe? Think... Why does she feel so like by one a.m. in the morning? In fact, I don't know. I think that sometimes I'm a little conflicted about these issues. You are women sometimes... always conflicted. Why is it time to do this? You know, you will be conflicted. Because sometimes, so I'm saying that. Um, so um, a, a friend was telling me that um, her boyfriend is always, you know, so she he rides. There's a lady in his office that rides with him to work, and then she starts seeing some sort of closeness between them. So it was looking like so um so the girl started speaking to him about oh her own uh, that's the girl that was always hitching around with her boyfriend started talking to the boyfriend about her own relationship saying that oh she's having issues with her relationship yeah always having like issues said, yeah always just having like issues with her ability so the girl is texting him late at night and saying oh even sometimes wanting to call him to say oh my boyfriend just did this and then the the boyfriend is always available and then she's like I'm not overreacting. No, you're not. She's saying that she thinks that it's 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 wrong because she's saying that they have sort of developed some sort of closeness, and then so it's it's, th- it's seeming to be like they're going to go to another level. But I don't know. I think I told her that she should probably relax because I mean maybe he's just a shoulder to lean on. So there are many there are many dynamics. If does he have a track record of? Of cheating, if he has, if he has a track record, does he have no, a track record, actually. or is he just a very friendly person? Is that how he is to his male? Do his male folks friendly, also friendly also... guys? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think I, I I dislike friendly men. I, I, I think I dislike friendly men because I mean, for a man to be that friendly with so many girls, I mean, why do you want to be friend? <laughs> why do you want to be friends with everybody? I want, I like my men mean <laughs> and unavailable to other women. But yeah, available to, you. to available to me only. Actually, I have two questions for you. First one, have you ever gone through your partner's phone? Uh-huh. And secondly, have you ever cheated on your partner? What sort of a question is that? But answer the, the question. <laughs> have you ever gone through my partner's phone? I actually have, you know, I always have the urge. Because me, I personally, I'm a very inquisitive person. Huh. So That's what they're calling these days. <laughs> yes. And curiosity did not kill these cats. Because he found so, nothing. No. So, I, so I, I, this is what I say. If you are, I say, I, I, there's no problem with going through your partner's phone. When I say go to your partner's phone, I don't mean looking through like for messages. Just using your partner's phone. The fact that you are hiding something. If there's something there, if you see something, that means there's something that was there to be seen. If there is nothing there, then there's nothing there. You shouldn't be scared of it. So I actually have no problem with people using their partner's phones as in. But the actual act of carrying his phone, trying to look for. So I think that you know. Um, in a relationship, there are different sort of relationships. So if we are, what's it called? If we are monogamous, monogamous mm-hmm. you know, it's you and I only, and then we've come to that agreement. So I expect that I can pick your phone without you wanting to scream at me that, mm-hmm. oh, what should I do with my phone, blah, blah, that kind of thing. So I would not want to always want to pick, always pick your phone. But then when I pick your phone, I any, want it. Yeah, there shouldn't um, be any. So yes, I have gone through my partner's phone before, but then I don't think there's something that I want to do again because you know what? Eh, to be honest. Women, when you pick up his phone to want to check, whatever you're looking for, you will find it. That's what I'm and saying. And it's you. What it's what your heart that you're breaking. That, I know, I know. So, you know, I know, I know I if you find something, that, that means there was something there to be seen. Because if there was nothing there to be seen, you would find nothing. There always is something there, to that's, be seen. That's my second question. You are very, 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 very sneaky. <laughs> Have I ever cheated in a relationship? Sneaky. Well, I'm going to throw that back at you. I, but then, firstly, Yes, I have cheated. <laughs> but then, I mean, in my defense, I wasn't sure what we were doing. What? Actually, baby, actually, baby, not the non-accountability of the Nigerian woman again. What to be you, honest, you fell, you fell into, you just fell no, into. To be honest, you, and, you know, we're going good at some point, and then I sort of started seeing some funny vibe. I started, I started getting some funny vibe from him, so I wasn't sure anymore. I'm like. Yo, are we still good? Or I mean, I was second guessing. Sure. I'm like, are we still in this relationship? Because I know that he had a hard time, you know, getting me in the first place. So I'm like, so he started treating me. So I'm like, are you trying to deal with me for giving you a hard time? You know, so I wasn't even sure. I'll talk to him that yo, I think that you're acting somehow. You're you're not being nice to me, and then you tell me oh, it's nothing. And then he he kept doing it over and over again. I mean, please, mouth the tire person. You talk and talk and then you get tired. So I got tired of asking and asking. And then... Can I just tell you something? I, I, not to diminish the story you, you just shared with me, but many women that cheated 
this is what they always say. The man was unavailable, blah 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 blah. But why men always unavailable? But is that the crazy? <laughs> what my problem is So how many relationships what? have you cheated in? <laughs> that would be my own can question. I finish? Why can't women just agree I cheated because I saw a man I found attractive and I did not value our relationship. The reason really I had my partner enough not to say, why is there a waste of angle? My partner wasn't available. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I am. Um, what is cheating really? <laughs> I, 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 no, I haven't cheated in the relationship. I've kept oh, myself. Oh, say one of the yeah. good men. <laughs> there are like four of you. I'm very monogamous. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I understand. Yes, yeah, that's so fine. We encourage our viewers. You guys should stay loyal to your partners. Also, there are STDs out there. Don't do that to your partner. That is very, very. I mean, I don't think there's anything more vile than going out of a relationship to bring something in, and not just STDs, but to bring bad vibes, bad energy. Now you have a mistress trying to. I mean, you're the innocent wife doesn't want to marry you, bro. So don't do that to your partner. Wives don't do that to your husbands. Husbands don't do that to your wives. Girlfriends, boyfriends. Stay. So I think, stay as me. always, <laughs> communication. That's the most important thing in any sort of relationship. Friendship. I mean, whatever shape that you're in, you should always, you know, learn to communicate with your partner, whatever you're feeling. And then I think that we just all should be decent humans. We should start the couples therapy i don't know i feel like we give out good advice <laughs> after after this we should start a couples if you guys need couples advice there's a discount if you come alone we'll give you this but it's a couples therapy session but if you come link alone, in the bio <laughs> yep, link yep, in the yep. bio so guys, thanks guys it uh, was awesome today as always as always yeah nice chat Axel. until next See time next time bye, bye.